Welcome to reading lesson 97. If you don't have your treats and treasure book, please go ahead and pause the video, grab your treats and treasure, and then open up to page 126. Now that you have your book and it's open to page 126, we are gonna read together this poem that is called Friends. This poem Friends was written by Abby Farwell Brown. Let me introduce this poem. Do you stop and look at the sky and watch God's wonderful creation? I do. He made it for us to enjoy. From the sky so big to the sun so bright, God made it all. Okay, so let's read Friends together. Out, You read out loud and I'll read out loud as we are reading together. Ready? Go. How good to lie a little while and look up through the tree. The sky is like a kind, big smile bent sweetly over me. The sunshine flickers through the lace of, look, of leaves above my head and kisses me upon the face like mother before bed. The wind comes stealing o'er the grass to whisper pretty things, and though I cannot see him pass, I feel his careful wings. So many gentle friends are near, whom one can scarcely see, a child should never feel a fear wherever he may be. That was a nice poem. All right. Now, if you look over at page 127, you are going to begin, or we are going to begin, reading Captain Robin. So to introduce this story, do you like to pretend to be somebody else? Robin goes on a special adventure with her siblings it involves a map and a treasure chest. What do you think the treasure will be? All right, so this is written by Bethany Roberts Urbina. So let's read the first, let's say, let's read 127 and 128 together, and then I will uh, release you to go ahead and read the rest on your own. So Captain Robin is what we're reading and you read at home aloud as I read aloud here. Ready? Let's go. Ahoy, Robin, called a strange voice as Robin rounded the corner into Grandma's living room. Robin blinked and looked toward the other end of the room. Her brother, Patrick, had a three-cornered hat on his head and was looking through a rolled-up piece, rolled-up newspaper as if it were a telescope. Her, her other brother, Nate, had a bandana tied around his head and her sister, Carly, had a black eye patch over one eye. Both seemed to be looking carefully at a map drawn on the back of a piece of notebook paper. Um, ahoy, Patrick, she said. What are you doing? We are looking for treasure, of course, said Nate as he held out his hand. We give you permission to come aboard our ship. Robin laughed and walked around to the back of the couch where her brothers and sister had set up chairs to make it look like a long ship. She took Nate's hand and climbed on board. Here is the map, Carly said. We've searched in all the, uh, all the usual places, but we haven't found any treasures. Why don't we try the jungle? said Patrick. Yes, Captain, said Carly. They all hopped out of the boat and followed Patrick to Grandma's sunroom. In the sunroom, there were all kinds of unusual plants and flowers, even a parrot that Grandma had named Lucy. All right, I want you to continue reading this story. So you're going to read 129 all the way to 133. And there's only two questions on 133. You'll see those questions on Google Classroom for you to answer so I could check your understanding of what you read. And then guess what? We finished. So I'm gonna probably put up some other assignments for you to complete. Um, probably the elements of a book will be posted up this week. So look for that in order to review what we've read in Treats and Treasures. So happy reading.